This is a striker's delight. In a pure striking matchup right here, we have to talk about the X's and O's because you tell me right now, everybody knows what the answer is. What's the strongest asset of Shara Magomedov? What's his best skill set on the feet? Ooh, kicks. That's what I would say. Easy. Easy. Like, without a doubt, right? We know if you give him space to kick you, he, it's going to be problems. But let's not forget, Armin Petrosian just fought a guy who's pretty good with kicks too. You remember, right? Uh, Chris Leroy Duncan, CLD. You know what I'm saying? And he got the victory right there. And it became an output issue for Duncan, right? So what did Chara say? This dude's going to wrestle me. He doesn't want to strike. Hey, listen, man, it's all in the game right here. He's fought a bunch of grapplers. Now maybe he breaks a little bit out, but I think it's going to be more than that. I think he attacks the legs, crushes space, and tries to crush the distance to get rid of the kicks and just make it more of a, a more classic, kind of like a Muay Thai boxing match without the big flashy kicks. But you tell me, I could be reading wrong into the scenario. What do you think? No, I, I agree with you, Derek. If you're looking at how Petrosian's going to win this fight, it's going to be nullifying the kicks. It's going to be closing that distance and fighting off the front foot. Petrosian is a hell of a hammer, and when he's able to walk you down, find some traps, set up some traps, and then uh, capitalize on them, he looks really well. I also give the advantage to him in the hands, right? The, the, the striking he's able to put together, the combos he's able to put together. If he's able to outstrike and outspeed Shara Bullet, man, he could be looking at a, a, a way to, to victory right here. The thing is, finding and, and not not chasing Shara as he's going to his positions, right? Petrosian does have a little bit of a tendency to, with that pressure he has, get off the mark and then get caught in something different. Listen, man, you're right. You're right in your assessments. And this dude, Magomedov, again, he is really good. Look at the win over Mikhail Alexichuk, uh, Antonio Ciccoli, uh, Bruno Silva. Let's not forget about that one, right? So, like, a, a really good run, like, to kind of open us up. The last loss that Petrosian had, Adolfo Vieira, grappler, right? You beat CLD, you beat... AJ Dobson, another grappler, and then Kyle Bahalio, you lose to the grappler right there, man. So it's going to be interesting. I just thought that Shara Bullet, man, as much as they're trying to hype him up, you got to fight a couple better guys before you can earn that level of respect. But maybe, again, I'm crazy, and maybe this is the new generation. This is the theme of this episode, right? It's just like the new legion of the roster who's saying, I'm here to stay, and you're going to have to defend your rank, which is what we've asked for for years. It's like, yo, defend your rank. You got to put it on the line. So the the big question here is how do we get value? I think there's a lot more value on Charo Megomedov at minus 160 than there is at minus 250 right here. So the play is completely flipped, but I still like Armin Petrosian plus 135. I'll take the plus money all day long because I think he should actually be a favorite and it should be a small underdog comeback for Magomedov in this matchup. So um, what I mean, what are you taking right here? Are you taking props? Do you like Shara just at his money line prop? What do you think? Or money line odd? What do you think? Man, it's it's still not a hefty price, but uh, something I'm looking for more, Derek, is that plus 115 decision for Shara Bullet. I, I do think a, a finish could happen with this fight, but with how talented they are and how we've seen Shara's output in the fights, I can see this one going the distance. I'm interested to see what the over is because I don't have it up right now, but man, I like that 115 for Shara Bullet. Minus 245, over two and a half rounds, plus 195 for the under. So yeah, Vegas thinks that this one's going to a decision. What yeah, got, yeah I'm with Vegas on this one. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right on, right on. Well, hey, this is the contentious pick. Feel free to tail whoever you want to tail, but don't forget, man, on that Elkins pick, on that contentious pick. I'm, come on, baby. We hit it last week. You know what I'm saying? May the best man win. This is your contentious pick. And folks, that is your main card breakdown.